May I beg a moment of your time later? I have an important matter to discuss. Of course, Captain. What was so important? I shall require his permission, Fraser. If I'm to ask for Miss Hayward's hand. Look, Charlotte. Do you suppose my captain is among them? Your captain? He is mine. His letters leave no room for doubt, and I am his. How can you be certain, after so brief an acquaintance? I know he has the soul of a poet. But he is handsome and brave, a man who saved 50 soldiers from drowning. drowning. Yes, you have mentioned it. But sometimes it's hard to gain a sense of a man's true character. One may form an impression, and then hear something which counteracts it. Charlotte? Yesterday, Colonel Lennox told me something deeply troubling about Mr. Colburn. I don't know what to make of it. You can surely trust the Colonel. You returned home late last night, my dear. I've gone to bed. Did you manage to settle matters with the Colonel? Well, I, actually, I, I found him rather busy and surrounded by his men. He invited me to join them for a, for a drink, so, uh, well, it hardly seemed the right moment to bring it up. Perhaps I should have come for moral support. <laughs> yes, I rather wish you had, Arthur. We cannot let the poor shopkeepers go and pay for another day. No, quite right, my dear. I, I shall summon the Colonel this morning and uh, demand he does the honourable thing. That's the spirit. <laughs> I just need to speak to them. I need to speak to them first. Really? I've had word from my father's lawyer. He's discovered what Sydney was doing in Antigua. Not a word of this to anyone. And you'll keep an eye out for anything that could be of use to me. Of course, sir. The man claimed he was a relative of my father's. He argued that...